quickly about layers. So um, when working with Rhino, um, I don't overdo layers, um, but I use it quite extensively. And so um, let's say in Rhino you have certain settings. If we go to this uh, horizontal upper toolbar, you could have um, select options, different selection options, let's say select by color, um, ID, and uh, etc. Um, but I find it quite convenient working with layers since you can name it and it's also quite convenient transferring data from Grasshop. So with layers, similarly to other programs that has um, layers, you can turn the preview on and off. Uh, here uh, on the bottom, on the tab bottom, you have horizontal slider, which you can slide through other options. If not, all options are visible right now. You can also uh, select line, ta line type for print uh, and just the preview color, with some material for renderings and etc. So it's, uh, I find it quite useful. Another thing, if you select, you can also select objects, let's say that are within the layer. You can just choose to select objects. Currently I'm selecting just one surface. And then let's say I want to put it into the default layer for some reason. So I right click on the default layer and then and just um, I can choose whether to change objects layer or copy object to layer. So let's say let's change objects layer. And you see the color has changed because I have changed the layer. On the right side um, of your screen, where you have properties layers, box edit, that, that's what I have. At least I also have help. I'm gonna discuss it a bit with you. And uh, you, I also have display. If you don't have it, once again, you go to options and you can, you can click right click options and then you can just select what sort of tabs you would like to see. And over here, you see you have a display. So you can turn it off or turn it on. So we obviously want to turn it on. So here you have some settings, some preview settings, uh, which is considered with the current uh, view. And it's also considered the, the view type, like this shaded wireframe rendered. So we're in shaded view. So these settings are depending on the display mode. So display mode is shaded. And here you can select whether I want to see surface isocurves or whether I want to see surface edges. Uh, there are some things we don't have, let's say seams or mesh wires. We don't have meshes here. We have curves. We can turn on and off the curves. This could be useful maybe when working uh, in rendered mode when let's say we don't want to see curve geometry so that could be useful you also can turn off points turning off point cloud is very useful if you're working with it so let's go back to the shaded view and um, let's go now to the properties tab also if you don't have this one you can turn it on turn it on through options and if I select this object, the surface geometry, some certain properties that I could uh, modify. And I'd like to talk about display color now. So currently display color as print color, print width are related to layer that the object is in. So I would usually recommend using this type of uh, these type of settings, so by layer, because when you have a lot of objects, um, it could be it could become confusing quite fast mm -hmm. uh, if you use different type of colors uh, that do not match the color of the layer. But sometimes maybe there is a time when you'd like to change the color of the object despite the color of the layer which is in. Let's leave. Um, the display by layer and let's go back to display uh, settings here and we what i want to show you 
here is just to change the possibility to change the background. So if you click on the small arrow, you expand the properties that you can use an image file, solid color, color application settings, a gradient, construct gradient, and etc. Let's just change the color. So it proves to be quite useful, useful uh, when you want to make quick print screens or just get out imagery from the uh, Rhino uh, to have a white background. You can also use any other color, obviously, that you'd like to have. Let's go back to the default one. If you want to go deeper into the settings, you can go here, edit shaded settings. Uh, and you can also access the same dialog box, the same uh, okay, the same box that I have just opened. You can also access through here, um, clicking on the small arrow, pointing downwards, and then just go to uh, display options. So in display options, we have let's say we have view. Let's expand the view. We have display modes. We select the mode that we are actually in. We have shaded mode and we have grid objects. We have objects, we have, let's say, curves. And we'd like to change the thickness of the curves. So it's only on the preview. It's not the print mode, but we can make it fatter or thinner. And you can also explore here the display of surfaces, meshes, and so on. Click OK. 